Hello, my name is Chung and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to write tonic sulfide using Microsoft Word. And I have been looking for a standalone software or something to write tonic sulfide, but I could not find it. So I decided to make a font myself. So today, based on the font that I created, I'm going to do a tutorial. How do we write tonic sulfide using Microsoft Word? So what do we need? Of course, you need Microsoft Word. And then you need tonic sulfide font. That is what I created. Jungte for you, sulfide font. That is what you need. So now you need to download tonic sulfide font. So in this YouTube, you go below the video and then here is the link to download the tonic sulfur font and you click it here is Jungte for you sulfur font and you download it so here is your download folder and then this is the font that you need to use without this this tutorial will not work you need to install this Jungte for you sulfur font double click it and then install it now you open microsoft word and you know pretty well Microsoft Word is really, really powerful, versatile, and it depends on your skill. But before that, we need to look at this. You need to prepare the Microsoft Word. The page setup, size should be A4, margin narrow, and then this is very, very important, tab setup. Otherwise, it will not be in line. So you go to home, paragraph, tab, and then the tab space should be 0 0.8. This is very, very important. The stars, no spacing. Font size, 12.5. Otherwise, it will be very, very small. And then the font is Jungte for you Solfa font. Without this, you will not be able to type or you will not be able to do the tutorial that I'm doing. Now, let's go to layout. So size should be size should be a4 and then margin should be narrow let's head to home again so here no spacing now we have to find the font that is jungte for you solfa font so you scroll down here we find jungte for you solfa font this is very very important without this you will not be able to do anything. So here font size should be 12.5. So, and then the most important thing here, you had to adjust the tab size. Otherwise, it will not be in line. Here, you go to home, paragraph, and then here, and then here is the tab. You tap and then here originally it would be 1.27 sort of thing. So you have to adjust 0 0.8. So this would be 0 0.8 or it could even be 0 0.85. That is up to you. So this is really, really important. Now before we really type it, let us look at the keyboard layout jungte for you solfa font keyboard layout so in order to type tonic solfa we need some signs so the first one we need is bar so this is bar and then we need medium and then we need lower sign higher sign and then pharmata and this is coda this is segno and then this is uh, especially for Chin and Mizo. We use T capital and T small. So you can use this keyboard layout. Okay, in order to write tonic so far, we need some special signs like higher note, lower note, and bar and medium and sort of thing. That's why we need a special font. That's why I created Jungte for you solfa font. So the bar is this one. We use shift plus uh, the bar 
and then this one medium we using we use in four by four timing in the middle so we use this one whole bit sign is colon half bit sign is quarter bit is comma and then this is the lower note and yeah this is the one so we use this one open parenthesis and then this is the higher note so the higher note we use close parenthesis and we use segno so this is a dollar sign and then we use coda and then the coda it is a uh, the star the asterisk so we use this one which is above number eight and then we need pharmata so this is uh, the pharmata sign so this is a uh, open parenthesis shift plus this one and then lower is uh, the close parenthesis shift plus uh, close parenthesis and this one is for chin and Mizo and some other people which we have a special character so the small one t with the dot is uh, that one very small one the key which is just below is kept so this one is shift plus that one so that is the thing and then when we write you need to use this rule space note tap sign always use this and then you will be okay okay now we are in microsoft word let us try to write one of the most popular song joy to the world and then you know of course this is the song title and then here we are going to use the rule that i mentioned space note tap sign you have to follow this rule okay now we are going to write always follow space note tap sign space note tap sign so we need a sign so that is the bar space and then our note is higher though we need close parenthesis we have written our note so now is this now is the tap i tap and then i need a sign so whole bit sign that is colon now another note space and then note is t medium t so and then we need we have written note so tap and then we need a sign again so 75 that is semicolon and then comma and then we have 75 note so now we need another note and then tap and then sign we need medium sign so there is there is the one and then space note we need saw we have our note and then tap and then another sign again so here is 100 node and then sustain and then we need tap and then uh, sign and then space no tap sign that's how we go and then let's write the rest okay this is the first line of soprano now let's do the l2 so we click enter and then we do the bar always space no tap sign so we need to write do 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 re do ti do yes yeah, so now space note tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign sorry space no tap 
sine and then here we need re and then space no tap sine and then here we need lower t so t and then open parenthesis make the lower node and then here medium and then another door so always space note tap sign so fa fa re re mi so space note tap sign space note tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign and then here me space no tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign so we have done the soprano and L2. So now we write the word. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Okay. Joy. Here we do space. Joy to the world. Okay. Now I am going to write it in my dialect, which we need a T. So here. So, dum, we need T. So, under is cap, here is T. So, yeah, that's fine. So, if we need a capital, we press the shift and then it becomes capital T. So, we need a small one. Now, we need to write tenor. Now let us write base. So always space no tap sign sign space do 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 fa so so do okay no tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign space no tap sign space sorry space no tap sign here is we need lower fa so open parenthesis and then here open parenthesis and here and then me fa fa so So do Why do we need tap? Because all the hundred note sign or the whole bit sign are in line vertically and they all are in line. If you don't do the tap sign, then you will not be able to get like this. Now let us talk about the special sign. Sometimes we need some special sign like here. Let us say uh, we need a farmer two sign here. So we go above the line. So the farmer two sign is open parenthesis. So yeah, that one. And if we need below, we click and then we do the farmer to sign below. So now is uh, the close parenthesis. So the farmer to, suppose we need like a sec no here, a sec no. Sec no is dollar sign. So shift plus number four. So here comes sec no. Suppose we come back from uh, the S and then yeah, and then here is a fine. And then let's say 
here is coda the one that we sing at the end so that is a asterisk so we do this if we want to put so we can do this like ff oh that's loud and then like crescendo or read or anything you can find in a web png file and you can insert and then now all that we do what we can do is here we want to put a line so we put enter and then we do this and then we enter and uh, these are not really in the note but just to show how to do this and then what we usually do is we go to uh, insert and then yeah here we go and we do this and this one you know how to do this I believe and then yeah this one and then here the weight should be a little bit one point so when we do this yeah it becomes like that and we need something here insert shape and the close parenthesis and we draw it here you adjust now you got a very beautiful format so all the bar in line all the signs in line and then yeah you have no and then uh, the performance sign fine and then pharma to alcoda if you are going to write like the triplet let's say triplet here space always space note tap sign and then yeah let's say So you can use like that. So for the triplet, you can use open quotation mark, which turn into like that. So that shows of a, a triplet. So we use open quotation mark, single quotation mark for triplet. And I hope you understand. And, uh, and here you can download the font. And then you can also download if you would like to have a template what template that I keep you can download it here and how to write tonic sulfa in Microsoft Word I put a link below the YouTube channel and you can download and you can have this one in your computer for your reference and then always remember when you write space no tap sign space no tap sign that is very very important and then last thing you have to use the font that I create that is a Chungte for you so far font I tell you this this is not perfect I know but it is going to be very useful and Microsoft Word is really really powerful and versatile it depends on your skill I hope this is really helpful and do not forget to subscribe comment and support Thank you so much. Enjoy writing tonic solve annotation using the font that I created using Microsoft Word. Enjoy.